This video is going to be about your rocket modeler software that we'll use to dissect or look at the individual parts that make up a, a rocket. The fins, the body, and the nose cone and how those affect the flight path of your rocket that you'll be building. So we'll be using this information to develop a model rocket that we'll use to uh, hit targets or some other variation for a challenge which you'll get credit for. In order to get to the software you'll go onto your computer and go to the student folders that's on the desktop and then inside there you'll go to your period number and there'll be a file that says rocketmodeler.html or maybe it'll just say rocket modeler. You'll open that my computer is set up a little differently, so uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to just go to this file here. And when you open up that file, it's going to ask you to activate Java, and you'll want to allow now. If it comes up and it asks to update Java, just click no or later. We don't need to update it right now and this box will come up and it may have a little check box that you'll need to click right here you'll want to click that and then click run to open up the program and I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this a little bit so we can see it okay so when we open up the program and we see this screen then we're ready to go the first thing I want to do here is I want to set up my rocket so it's very similar to the one that you're going to be making uh, and what we want to do is just isolate the one part that we're going to be working on and change just that part so up here in the top left we have the nose parts we have the payload or the things that go inside the rocket the body of the rocket and the fins the first thing that you need to do is go to the nose cone and we're going to change the nose cone material to solid foam and for our purposes we're going to leave everything else the same even though when you make your model you're gonna change different things but we want to isolate the one thing that we're working on and right now this first thing is the fins so we don't want to change anything else that is unnecessary so the payload we don't have a payload it's zero so we can go ahead and move on the body it should be set to 132nd cardboard, which is should be the default what it's already set at, so we can go ahead and move on. Then the fins. Now the fins are the part that stabilizes the aircraft, the rocket, while it's in flight, so it can go in a straight line. What we need to do is we need to change our material to the 1 16th inch gray cardboard. That's the closest option here to our actual material which is simply some cardboard boxes we're going to cut up so we're going to set that as our material then you can go in and start changing the number of fins so you can type a number in from 3 to 10 we can change the shape so right now these fins are trapezoidal and we can change them so they're rounded or elliptical we can choose either or I'm going to go with trapezoidal the locate in indicates how far from the bottom of the rocket those fins are located. So if I do one, it'll be one inch from the bottom. So it'll scoot those fins up closer to the nose cone. The length in inches, that's how long those fins are. And when I'm typing in these numbers, I'm pressing enter after I type in a number so that it registers. You could also use the slider bar here to indicate the number you want your fin to be. And I'll make my fins a little wide. And then the LE and TE is the leading edge angle, and that's the part of the fin that's facing towards the cone. And then the trailing edge angle, that is the edge 
of your fin that is facing towards the bottom or the back of your rocket. So we can change those if we'd like and you can change the different shape of your rocket fin by adjusting those different slider bars or typing in a number. Make sure you write all these numbers down as you work through so that you have a recording of what your settings were because we're able to use that when making your actual model. Once you're done, then click this go button and it'll say go right here so that we can move on to the next step which is the fuel. And before I go any further, just make sure while you're working that you have this set to air because we're making an air powered rocket. There's different ways of making different rockets. There's water rockets, solid rockets, and a ballistic rocket. We're dealing with air powered rockets. So please make sure for these tests you're using an air powered rocket. On to the fuel. The fuel is our air, compressed air, and what we'll need to do is tell the computer how much air pressure we're going to use. And in our actual competition challenge, uh, we can change this number, but for our sake and our simulation, we're going to use 25 pounds of pressure. And at the top of your chart, it tells you what kind of fuel to use, and it says 25 pounds of pressure. You want to make sure this is set to input so you could actually type a number in. And then the launch tube length right here needs to be set to 6. And the launch tube is this tube that goes into the back of the rocket that shoots the air into the rocket to send it forward. So notice it changes and it's going up into the rocket further. So it's going to change how much speed that rocket comes off of the launcher. So it comes off at 110 feet per second. Once you're done, then click go and then go on to the launch pad. The launch pad is just the weather conditions. We're not going to change any of this. It's going to be ideal weather conditions and we're going to shoot the rocket straight up into the air. So we can just click go. Then finally our launch. So here we just want to click this, this fire button and it will fire the rocket up and it will stop moving and fall back down to the earth. The number you need to record on this is the maximum height and we're going to use that to determine how well those fins work. So the higher the rocket goes, the better. So we're looking to try to get that maximum height as high as we can go. So once you're done and you have tested your rocket and you've recorded all the numbers, then you can go back up here to the design button and you can go back through and change all of your numbers again and come up with a different design. Make sure you write those numbers down and click go. Your fuel is already set so we don't need to mess with that. Click go, pad, click go and then you can do your launch again. So uh, the first time you get on each period you need to make sure you set up the things that are required that are indicated at the top of your page. Uh, otherwise as you're working throughout the period you shouldn't have to mess with the fuel and the pad and anything else besides for what we're changing. So uh, the next video will be about your body design. So that'll be a little shorter of a video. So if you have any questions please ask your instructor.